Hey guys, this is Michael, and this is going to be the third part of the portfolio design tutorial in my series. And I'm sorry I didn't get this out earlier, but I haven't had time lately. But I do have some time today to record this and get this out for you guys. So hope you enjoy it, and we're going to get right back into this tutorial. Alright, so what we have here is our how-to website. And if you don't have this saved, I'm going to put the project file in the description just up to this point because... I know some people are just jumping in right now, so I'd encourage you to watch the rest of the parts just so you get what we're doing. So let's just get right to this. So the first thing we need to do for this next part, which we're going to be dividing it up and slicing out some objects and saving our nav buttons up top, we're going to go to view, make sure we have our rulers checked, and then we have our rulers right here. What we're going to do is we're going to align these rulers in some different parts. So what we want to do is find our highlight layer for our nav buttons, which are these right here, if you can see my cursor, are these gray areas behind these nav buttons. So we're just gonna take a ruler, drag it over, take another one, drag it over, and this is just dividing all of these out so that we can easily copy them and save the files. So, okay, so that's contact, that one is done. Now we can do portfolio. I'm just gonna finish these up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have these divided out right now. So you can see I have all the guidelines set. So now the next step is going to be to save all these buttons. So go to your rectangle marquee tool. Then we're going to do home first. So just highlight over home and it will automatically snap to it. And then go to edit, copy merged, file, new. And it will already have those dimensions set for you. Click OK, Control V, paste it in. And we have it right here. So we're going to do those for all the rest of them also. So I'll be right back with you guys. And we'll have them all finished alright so I have all of those done now the next thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna hide the gray layers that select them now we just have the dark gray in the background and we're just gonna select over them again one by one and save them all as different names I would suggest saving them as rollover image or over something with like home in front something like that so I'm going to finish this up and I'll get back to you and I'll show you the file I've created. Alright, so I have all of these done and I have my files right here. Nav buttons. And as you can see, I have each button with the gray background and the light gray background for the overlay image. So after that's done, we can move on and we can put some rulers on the rest of our template. So we're going to need rulers on the images in the middle right here. So find the layers that you have for those images. And after you have them selected, you're just going to pull up some guidelines to them. Just like this. And do that for each one. These ones are almost set. Good. And make sure they're all aligned so that when you put this into Dreamweaver, you have the perfect size for the images. Okay, those are set. The next part is going to be just this gray section at the bottom where we have our feeds. We're going to want to divide this up. Now I already have the sides divided. We're just going to have to do the right sides. So just adjust, drag some new ones over to the end of the lines. All right, that's all set. The last thing we need to divide is the big image in the center up here. So we're just going to find our layer that we have that on. I have it right here. We're just going to drag the guides to the size of this. And this is going to make it able so that we can put the right images in there as we want to change them up as we progress with our website. So that's all set. Now the next thing we have to do, which is the main part of this tutorial, is going to be to slice this. So we already have our buttons ready right here, but we need to slice the rest of it so we can put it into Dreamweaver. So to do that, we're going to go to the slice tool, which is right in here. It sometimes is the crop tool. You're going to just have to highlight that and select the slice tool. Then what we do with this, for an example, I'm just going to highlight this corner up here and drag it all the way over to here. This is our top gray area. As you can see, it creates a slice image, and all the separate ones we do are going to be separate images, and these are going to be marked out in Dreamweaver so that we can correctly link everything 
to the different um, pages that we're going to have and the different images, so things like that. So the next one we're going to do is the big image in the center. Good. Then the smaller images. And if you mess up, don't worry, you can always adjust it. Just keep going and we can adjust them later. And the last thing to do are going to be these sections at the bottom. And also, um, before we uh, finish this up, um, one thing to do is you're going to want to hide this text that we have, the stainless snow on demand, all those, whatever you have in there, and the fake text just for a show. We're going to want to hide that because in Dreamweaver, we're going to be um, separately putting in the text with HTML coding and CSS and things like that. So I'm just going to hide these really quick. So now they're all hidden, and we can just finish up the slicing. These sections down here need to be sliced. Just down to the bottom of the gray area is where we're going to stop. Twitter feed. And if you don't want a Twitter feed, you can put whatever you want in there. It doesn't really matter. Your preference. And the last one. Perfect. So those are all set. If you need to make any adjustments, go to your slice tool, then go to slice select. And when you click on the slice you want, you can drag over the sides and um, adjust the size. So now we need to save the images. And to do this, we're going to go up to file, save for web and devices. And also one thing, this is going to be my last tutorial on Photoshop CS5. This series will be the last one. And then um, the rest will all be done on Photoshop CS6 as that is the new upgraded version. So look forward to that also. So I'm going to put my settings to JPEG, quality 100, progressive, maximum and blur zero and you're going to want to make sure you have those all set so that you turn out the best image quality and one little thing when you click on the images it'll show you how long each one will take to load usually depending on the internet browser it'll go a lot faster than this so i'd say you're definitely just going to want to keep them on jpeg because if you bring them up more it'll usually bring up the loading time so the next thing we're going to do is click save and then i have this right here and I'm going to do it as how to website 2 format this is going to say HTML only you're going to want to make sure you have HTML and images settings you're going to go to custom or wait one sec other and then you're going to want slices and then have settings on background image slices slice output generate table you're going to want to have this checked it's going to be on um, generate CSS, but you're going to want to generate table. And then you can keep those settings, okay. And then slices, all slices. And also what's really nice about this is, um, uh, uh, what's nice about this is after you save it, it automatically saves all these slices around it, like the side images. Like if I zoom out, you can see what I'm saying. Back here you have all the side images and little boxes that we haven't selected. All those are automatically saved also. So the next part is going to be loading it up in Dreamweaver. So I'm just going to go into Dreamweaver and try to load up and then this is going to finish this part of the tutorial. Alright, now we're in Dreamweaver. So we're going to go to File, Open, then wherever you saved it, mine's right here. I would also suggest making a separate folder to save all these files in because there are going to be a lot of files you're going to be dealing with and you don't want to mess any up or lose anything so make sure you put um, a separate folder for all this stuff. So click open and you'll see on this right side right here if you have it in preview and um, in coding mode you'll see the site right here and once you click on this stuff you will see the sections that we have out. And um, these buttons up here, those will be uh, different. We're not going to be using those. We're going to be putting in our rollover images. So this, will, you can select this, you can select this. All these different parts that we have automatically sectioned out. And so we can change these and link them up the way that we want. So that's it for this part of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. And if you didn't get catch anything, just go through it again and um, get caught up and check out the previous ones. And please leave a like. And also check out my Facebook fan page, which will be in the description check out all my links and um, I hope you enjoyed this and the next one will be linking everything and uh, finishing most of this stuff up so 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.